U.S. President Joe Biden, on June 3, called his predecessor Donald Trump a convicted felon who is seeking the office of the presidency for the first time in American history. Trump became the first former U.S. president to be convicted of a crime last week when a New York jury found him guilty of falsifying documents to cover up a payment to silence a porn star ahead of the 2016 election. For the first time in American history, a former president that is a convicted felon is now seeking the office of the presidency, Mr. Biden told a small group of donors during a fundraiser in Greenwich. Connecticut. He said Trump's attacks on the U.S. justice system are more damaging. The president's comments offer a glimpse into how he and his campaign could use Trump's conviction to make the case to voters that Trump is unfit for office, an issue that could help define this year's presidential race by pushing Trump's felonies to the center of the election. A Trump campaign spokeswoman said on Fox News that it was shameful for the Biden campaign to call Trump a convicted felon. Trump said on June 3 that he would accept home confinement or jail time after his historic conviction, but that it would be tough for the public to accept. Earlier in the day on June 3, Mr. Biden's son, Hunter, was in court for a criminal case against him over his purchase and possession of a revolver in 2018. A historic criminal prosecution of a sitting president's son with the potential to influence the 2024 presidential election. Mr. Biden did not comment on his son's legal troubles. He had issued a statement on June 3, saying, Jill and I love our son, and we are so proud of the man he is today, and adding that a lot of families have loved ones who have overcome addiction. At the Greenwich fundraiser, Mr. Biden also called Trump unhinged and unable to accept defeat. He stressed on Trump's earlier comments about terminating the U.S. Constitution and wanting to be a dictator on day one if he wins a second term. Throughout this campaign Trump has made it clear he is running to exact for revenge. Now after his criminal convictions, it's clear he's worried about preserving his freedoms. Mr. Biden said. Democrats are wrestling with how central Trump's felonies should be to Mr. Biden's re-election campaign. Many, including top officials in Mr. Biden's campaign, are taking a wait-and-see approach to advertising and news strategies and want to see polls and voter feedback before they react strongly to this unprecedented moment in U.S. history. A Reuters Ipsos poll last week found 10% of Republican voters said they are less likely to vote for Trump in November after his conviction. Mr. Biden's re-election campaign has told supporters that Trump can only be beaten at the ballot box and has asked supporters for money.